The price is right, but is the Remington PG6025 all-in-one grooming kit the quality trimmer you deserve? Well, in this video, I'll see if it holds a candle to its counterpart, the Phil Sirocco Multigroom 3000, and let you know which bargain is the real deal. Stick around. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Paul D'Onofrio with Groom Reviews where we're getting you comfortable, confident, and clean in grooming. On this channel, we're bringing you everyday grooming product reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure to hit that notification bell to stay on top of all of our latest videos. All right, so today we're taking a look at the Remington PG6025 all-in-one grooming kit, which is part of the Remington Lithium Power Series and which Remington touts for its self-sharpening surgical steel blades that stay sharp for a comfortable trim every time. Like the Phillips Rocco Multigroom 3000, the Remington PG6025 is an Amazon bestseller, also ranking in the top 100 under beauty and personal care. But it falls short in the ratings with only a 3.8 out of 5 star rating as compared to the 4.2 out of 5 star rating for the Multigroom 3000. Now if you look back at my previous video on the Philips Runco Multigroom 3000, you'll see that both of these trimmers have very similar claims as well as similar attachments. And at price points below $20, these trimmers are extremely affordable and closely matched. So let's dive into the specs for comparison. Both the Remington PG6025 and Philips Runco Multigroom 3000 provide a 32 millimeter full metal trimmer attachment as the primary cutting tool. While the Remington PG6025 has a precision trimmer attachment with a surface even smaller than the cutting surface of the Multigroom 3000, the Remington PG6025 has half the number of cutting teeth for less cutting area. Now where the Multigroom 3000 comes with three hair guards, lengths 9mm, 12mm, and 16mm, the Remington PG6025 provides an eight length setting hair clipper that can be adjusted up and down directly on the device without the need for removing multiple guards. The three beard guards of the Multigroom 3000 come in lengths of 3mm, 5mm, and 7mm, along with a 1mm stubble guard, while the Remington PG6025 come in lengths of 9mm, 6mm, and 3mm. Now the one big difference that stands out to me on the Remington PG6025 is that it has a foil shaver attachment which is not included with the Multigroom 3000. As far as battery life, the Philips Norelco Multigroom 3000 utilizes a lithium ion battery that requires 8 hours of charge time for 60 minutes of use. The Remington PG6025 also has a lithium ion battery but requires only 4 hours of charge time for 65 minutes of use. I'll link to both of these trimmers in the description below. Alright guys, now it's time to jump in and test out the Remington PG6025. I'm going to see how it compares to the Philips Norelco Multigroom 3000 and let you know after the shave. <laughs>
so I gotta tell you, I did not get the result I wanted from the Remington PG6025. I thought a lot of the attachments were lacking. I thought a lot of the function of the unit was lacking. These things are within $1.50 of each other, but this seems to have a lot of quality and features that are definitely a step above the Remington. The Multigroom 3000 doesn't have the beard, uh, beard comb attachment, but it really didn't seem to matter. It's hard to get on to begin with, and then when you're trying to push it into place, it's not really staying sometimes. It'll just go into the next slot. Just comparing it to the Philips Morocco Multigroup 3000, I mean, those uh, beard comb attachments that go on there, they click in nice. You know it's in there and it's not going to slide off. This one I can go, well, I shouldn't be able to go back and forth just by pulling it like that. I was finding right off the bat that this unit was losing a little bit of its power. I had to go over it many times and still looking at it, it was... You know, you could see it on there. Also, the blades were, they must be super close, but they were really getting hot. If you listen to it, you know, compared to this, you know, this one's humming. This one's going really fast. It's powerful. You can feel it. And I never feel the heat coming off of the Philips Norelco, but I felt it really quickly on this. You know, that gives me a little bit of concern. And you'll find in the reviews, a lot of people say that they have issues with the battery. It may not be the first time, but the second, third, fourth time through, a lot of people are saying, hey, it's going dead on me. The precision trimmer attachment was a little confusing also. I mean, the teeth on there were so small. They're, they only put a couple and it was really, it really wasn't doing anything. You know, I even tried to go to certain, certain spots and I couldn't even get it to work in there and cut it. You might've seen on the video, I just tried to go in here because I said, hey, I'm not getting anything over here. Let's just see if I can get in there and cut something and it, it wasn't even really cutting. You know, you really had to kind of like push in there and even so it was going like tick, 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 hitting one little hair at a time. So if you're gonna do that, I mean, it's gonna take you forever. I think what they were trying to do was go smaller than the Philips Norelco Multigroom 3000 precision trimmer. That one is about a quarter inch and I think they wanted to have that little edge and go even smaller. But by going even smaller, it's not giving you added benefit. It's actually causing a hindrance. That's my opinion of it. I mean, someone else out there might say, hey, it's working good for me. But to me, for my beard, it didn't have any use at all. And the precision trimmer on the Philips Morocco Multigroom 3000, that got me a little bit more cutting area. Just the quality of this is just, it's just superior to the Remington. The teeth on it are larger. I was finding difficulty with these smaller teeth. I thought that the foil shaver attachment would definitely give that advantage uh, to the Remington PG6025. Even feeling it now, I mean, it's it's not that smooth finish. I can use a foil shaver attachment with a Philips Norelco on the Multiroom uh, 5100, and it will get me, a, so I can feel under here, and it will feel smooth as if I was shaving. On the Multigroom 3000, you know, you put this on here, and you got this entire area, basically, to put your thumb on and snap it into place. So it feels more sturdy. With this Remington, you gotta push hard on it. It's this little, kind of little, you know, little lip here. You're not sure if it's on, and then you gotta kind of push down on that. It doesn't feel like it was designed uh, as well as this uh, Philips Norelco Multigroup 3000. This is the front of the Remington uh, PG6025, and the blades are facing the front. This is the front of the Philips Norelco Multigroup 3000, the blades face the back. Your fingers can almost go on top, hit the power button, stop the power button. Uh, this one is almost upside down. This is a, a lift up versus a click. Personally, this one works a lot better. This is the unit that I recommend. It's under 20 bucks, you can't beat that. I'm not just gonna come out with a product every time and say, you know, I'm reviewing this, so buy it. Cause uh, you know, cause I used it. No, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. If I like it, I recommend it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you, mm, I don't think you should get it. This one, I don't I don't recommend. Um, this one, I do. They're pretty much in the same category. So this one, I put above this, above the Remington. My suggestion is I would go and click on my video for this Philips Norelco Multigroup 3000 and check it out and see how I actually use this uh, in that video. And you'll see all the different features that are a lot easier when I'm using them in there. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe, anything you can do to help the channel, I'd appreciate it. I wanna keep these videos coming. Thanks for your support. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time.